All right, so this is Silo 2024.0, and what we've added for this release is uh, file instances. So you can uh, create instances within your object that are referencing a completely separate file. So for instance, here I've got this rover um, made up of these separate parts, but all the wheels here are actually instances from a separate file. And I've got this wheel file open up in a separate copy of Silo, which uh, we added in the previous release. You can do new window and get a, a separate instance of Silo running. Um, but this could also be any other program, and it uh, doesn't have to be just only Silo files. It can import FBX or anything else. So any other program, you can be editing a model. So let's say we want to make the wheels uh, slimmer here. Then as soon as I save it, you'll notice that it will update over here. So this is a super handy way to um, organize your files if you've got complex models or if you've got a, a group of people working together on a project um, or if you've just got go-to items that you want to use over and over again and you want them to update automatically whenever you change them, uh, change the source file, this is a great way to handle that. Uh, so the way you do it is you just go to Create and File Instance and then we'll just choose this wheel as an example here. There it is down there, and it just behaves like an instance in every other way. It will um, bring in its materials and everything and uh, show up properly in the scene. And as you can see with, with the rover here, it remembers the placement and rotation and everything of each instance separately. Uh, so that all works properly. Anyway, it's a pretty, uh, pretty significant new feature, and we're excited to see what people do with it. Uh, if you're interested in downloading Silo, you can go to nevercenter.com slash silo and get a free trial. And let us know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.